Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Leanna. I make videos every week about my family. We homestead, we homeschool, and we're kind of just trying to make it in this crazy world. Um, lately our goal has been self-sustainability. Like the goal has always been to make the house more livable, more comfortable, but self-sustainability has been a big thing. And one of the things we've been talking about that we've been wanting to do since we bought this place is collect our our rainwater because honestly rainwater is an underused source of resource sorry it's an underused resource um, some states incentivize rainwater collection so check your local state on what the laws are before you do collect water because some places ban it which is odd and some places encourage it. Like I think when we were looking about where to move, I think I saw that South Carolina and Georgia have a program where they'll come up out and help you set up rain barrels to collect the water. Um, don't quote me on that. I'll find the site again because there is a project in the US that will help you do that. Um, there are some states that incentivize um, rain, rain water collection. Um, and some places it's illegal. In our place, it is neither incentivized nor is it illegal, but it is just always a great thing to do. So about a week ago, because when I'm filming this, it's Sunday, and but last Monday, Rob and RJ went on a six hour ride for to pick up our barrels. We got 18 barrels and we bought them through a company called Blue Barrel and they recycle old, older barrels that were food grade barrels that were used for maybe hot sauce or um, honey mustard, cooking spices, that kind of thing. And they rinse them out and they sell them to you. So you can use them for catching water. Um, I believe they're 50 gallon drums and they're about two feet wide and about three feet tall. Um, my nose is itching, sorry. I'm having an allergic reaction, yay me. But, uh, <laughs> They went on a six hour drive. It was three hours there and then three hours home. And they picked up 18 barrels. We had to take out all, all the seats in the van. And me and the girls hung out for a day and Rob and RJ went and got them. And then they came home and I helped them unload. And we got at least one row back in the van. We need to get two rows back in the van. That's another story. <laughs> Basically, we had to pick up a couple other things this week and we didn't want the third row in the van, so we didn't put the third row back in. And now the thing that we picked up is in the back of the car and we can't put it back in. But that has nothing to do with today's video. I just felt like sharing. Um, so we have 18 blue barrels that we bought from this guy. And basically, Rob went, he's, it was a guy who, who was our local vendor. But Blue Barrel puts you in touch with the, your local vendor, gives you a voucher, you get in touch with the local person, you call them up, you say, hey, I bought this from you, when can I come pick them up? And you arrange with the person who's selling them to go pick them up. And Blue Barrel's just the facilitator to it. So Rob was picking up from a nice man in, I believe, Cincinnati, and he runs his business with a uh, school bus and lives the, lives the bus life, which is really awesome and really cool and he sells the barrels. So he sold us the barrels, which was really cool. And uh, Rob picked them up. I'm gonna show you what they look like. So that's a couple of them right there. That's about five right there. Um, they have these white caps on top that are stoppers. And then they have an open side. And not everyone has the white cap, just some of them do. But they are previously used. I think these were marked for hot sauce and apple cider vinegar. Yeah. But this one was used for apple cider vinegar. <laughs> and who sold them to us, he purchases them uncleaned and then he cleans them 
and sells them. And we purchased them at a discount. They're normally really expensive when you get these barrels, fresh and new. And because they're previously used, they um, were at a discount to us. And it just made more sense to do it this way. And to be fair, I didn't want to pay twice as much for barrels that had not been used. The thing is, is they do rinse them out before you get them, so it's okay. And they are food grade, so nothing that was that's harmful or going to hurt you is going to be in... Sorry, I have a hawk flying over. Um, <laughs> nothing that's harmful or... or um, bad for you. I couldn't think of the words. Nothing harmful or bad for you has been in these barrels. So that's why we're going to use them. So basically I'm going to show you the plan because I'm going to be honest, prices with uh, water companies has been going up. So this is going to be how we're going to water our garden. And this is going to be how we're going to water our, our uh, animals. And it's more than enough in case there's an emergency, we can boil it and use it for ourselves. So I'll show you the locations I plan on putting it up and tell you what we plan on doing. So the first location we have is over here next to it on the side of the house when you're driving up. Six barrels straight back and we're gonna collect the water off the roof. We have an, a uh, piping that'll take it from the gutters, from up there on the gutters. And because of the way our roof is made, we're gonna set up 12 barrels on this side of the house. So we're gonna get ha about a third of the water on that side and two thirds of the water on this side. Now we decided to go with this specific specific setup because we, this way none of the barrels are in the way of our everyday life. It is enough um, space in all the barrels that we will collect 98 to 100% of the rain that we get in the rainy season. Um, it'll be enough to water our garden, it'll be enough to water our animals, and it'll take a strain off of our water bill because everybody knows inflation has been through the roof lately and honestly it's it's getting expensive to have a homestead and children <laughs> and everything and we want to make sure we can do this and be self-sustainable and the more we can do to be self-sustainable the better rain collection is a very simple thing you can do to not only help the environment help yourself help your family um, like I said, check your local laws because some states it is illegal. Some states they do have an incentive program and if you can get in on your incentive program, by all means take advantage of that because that's a free rain barrel. Um, you can rain collect in the suburbs, like especially if it's not illegal, you can totally do it in your backyard in the suburbs. So you can alleviate some of your expenses, you can have emergency water, you can plant, use it for your garden, you can use it for your lawn. like. There's a lot of uses for rainwater. Um, don't consume it without boiling it or filtering it of some sort, but you can definitely give it to your animals or your um, plants without doing any of that. So don't worry about that. It's a good way to save money. It's a good way to not have to necessarily use um, your local water system and to put an like alleviate a little bit for the local water company. I know our local water company always puts out a warning um, this time of year saying with the hot measures there might be problems with the pump or there might not be enough water. Please make sure you don't water your lawn until after six and things like that. And this way if the pump gets broken because we didn't have water for two days there was a um, during the ice storm last year so we had we were so grateful we had water stored in the house for emergencies. Um, so this way we have even more water for emergencies and if it's out front and it's cold that cold I'll bring in a barrel and defrost it if I have to so there's that um, and there are programs that will help you set up your rain barrels if you're just like I don't know what I'm doing I don't understand how to set this up there are programs with people who will come out to your house and help you set it up we're gonna set it up ourselves. I'm gonna do an entire video showing you guys how we do that um, I'm not saying this is the best way to so set it up. I'm just saying it's how we're going to do it. But if you're interested in that, I will um, let you know we're going to have a video for that when we get it set up. Um, but we have so many projects we're trying to do right now. It's just overwhelming some days. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in comments down below. Please let me know what you have been doing to collect water for yourself or how you've been doing to, to you know, save water, to be more efficient, whatever it is. And uh, if you're starting a homestead, leave a comment down below. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, my Discord will be linked in the comment in the description box. My Gilded will be li linked in the description box. And as always, if y'all are interested in a Facebook group, I have not set one up. But if it becomes a thing, leave a comment and I'll do that. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Please stay safe out there in these crazy uncertain times. Make good choices. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.